Hello everybody and welcome. Today we will talk about the HP Jornada 720. This device was one of the last in the unfortunately short-lived line of Windows C clamshell handheld PCs, intending to emulate the full classic Windows 95 shell experience in a portable format. It's really a delight of form and functionality. Originally selling for around 750 British pounds, Nowadays, they can still be found for a few hundred euros, especially if in a good condition, a testament of its build quality, usability and usefulness. It's a small device, but not really portable, measuring 187 by 93 mm and 33 mm of height, weighing around 498 grams. The screen size is 151 by 56 mm with a diagonal of 161 mm. It has a half VG resolution of 640 by 240 pixels and 16-bit colors. Unfortunately, it's a passive matrix DSTN screen, bad already in 2000 and even worse today. The viewing angles are the worst. You definitely don't need a privacy screen with this thing. Adjusting brightness affects the color civic significantly, requiring a constant ballet of contrast adjustments to make the things bearable. You must be careful with, when opening the screen and remember that it doesn't sit flat. The battery was originally rated for 9 hours. Mine lasts for around 5 and this is really not bad for a 21 years old device. HP also offered an extended battery rated for 24 hours. The keyboard has 79 keys. Thanks God, the nav cluster comes in the standard inverted steel layout. The keys have more travel than most modern laptops. On the top, the usual application row, very common in Windows C devices. HP calls them hotkeys. An escape key is also present, unlike a range of modern laptops. Windows C devices were famous for their mushy keys, but I feel like I'm typing uh, on a Model M whenever I'm back to my journal after using my work laptop. Whenever I type on it, I end up picking corn with one hand and touch typing with the other. I can type much faster and ac accurately than I manage on my iPhone. There are also three soft shortcut icons, Palm OS style, on the right side of the screen. HP calls them hard icons. On the top, you have the standard Windows C clamshell appointment notification LED. Whenever you create any type of alertable item, you get the option of activating the LED once the alert comes active. You can then push the button to suppress any audible alarm. It's a very cool feature. The reset button resets the device. It's very useful because Windows C hangs sometimes. In front, a status LED leads red when you are using the voice recorder or flashes green if your device is on but with the display off. Useful in case you are listening to music or using the GPS, for example. The audio buttons allow you to control the media player without opening the device. They are very loose and mushy. The lock key is a plastic tab that slides underneath the other buttons and avoids accidental presses. On the opposite side, a stylus slides nicely into its slot. On one side, the battery charging LED is found above the DC jack for the charger. It changes colors to indicate a charging or fully charged battery. Next to it, the RJ11 connector for the modem is located. Turning around to the other side, there is a headphone jack a smart card reader slot, a PCM Type 2 PC card slot and its release tab. On the back, a RS-232C serial port and an infrared port are there for usual connectivity. Flipping the device over, you will find the compact flash Type 1 slot. I don't know what's the maximum compatible size, but I have successfully used a 16GB card with it. In the compartment sits also the backup battery. Then the battery release latch, the dock connector, and the speaker. 
The Jornada was shipped with a serial cable and a dock that holds your pen for you and gives you the option of syncing via USB. The Jornada is powered by a 206 MHz ARM4 Strong Arm SA1110 processor and has 32 MB of RAM. The graphics chip is an Epson SED1356. The performance is really excellent. Windows C applications are optimized for far less powerful devices. Keep in mind that the first Windows C handheld PCs were powered by very weak CPUs, had almost no RAM to be spoken of, and ran on AA batteries. Pocket World, for example, has less than 100 kilobytes. If you don't install too many applications and use it mostly for work, there is enough RAM to store many documents and you will be able to run multiple applications simultaneously. Microsoft Pocket Office is a delight to use and its personal information manager capabilities are my favorites ever. I actually use it for work and I'm glad that my notes sit out of reach. I believe Windows C represents the pure Windows experience the way Microsoft intended it to be. Hardware, software and drivers are optimized for the device where it's running. In this case, the Jornada. HP also included special drivers for the most popular network card for portable devices with perfect compatibility and great performance without having to struggle installing anything or fishing for drivers. HP did not ship the device with crappy wear and the included utilities are actually great. HP dial-up is nowadays useless, but at the time it offered an easy way to configure your email and ISP settings from within a single place instead of having to browse different places. The HP Viewer is, in my opinion, a useless application too. It combines the information provided by different components of Pocket Outlook in a single app, but I think it's too slow and bloated. OmniSoul is an excellent business calculator. It seems to be a useful and straight to the point too to me. Another interesting addition is a HP Chai VM Java Virtual Machine. Surely aimed for business, it would help road warriors have access to Java applications used internally and facilitate cross-platform de development. In the early 2000s, the outlook for the mobile world was far from settled, and I can see the business appeal of being able to run Java applets on the Jornada. HP also included Yahoo Messenger. I've never used the service in my life, so I won't say a word about it. It is here, you can try. For the other Windows CE applications, I will prepare a different video reviewing only Windows CE. For now, it's enough to say that Windows CE offers a great deal of functionality up to this day. Microsoft Pocket Word has the functionality of the old WordPad for Windows 95, and it's enough for my writing needs. I use it daily on my other Windows CE device. With Excel, actually you can work with fairly complex files and then sync them to your home PC. And actually supports many advanced options, functions and formulas. Access packs a lot of functionality and you can even write SQL queries. Outlook does Outlooky things and works fine. Actually, I think the lack of connectivity options allows you to focus on what you must do without the constant destructive hell of instant messaging and notifications. There are many available network utilities for Windows C that will allow you to do some troubleshooting on IPv4 networks or even connect to Telnet or SSH hosts. You can also run Python and C programs, browse remote servers with Scotty FTP and even connect to local networks and keep your inf local information organized with the timeless and mandatory Toto Commander and its handy plugins. To go online, there are options for wired Ethernet and also legacy Wi-Fi cards. An old mobile phone with infrared, such as my Nokia E65, will allow you to go online on 3G, limited only by the 1 megabit per second infrared port of the Jornada and your data plan. You can also use dial-up if you find a provider. Note that not many sites will load, which is actually for me a huge plus. To build legacy web pages, you can use the HBOMB or the Be Useful HTML editors. Both run perfectly on the Jornada and, with some creativity, 
you can build web pages compatible with virtually any browser or any device released in the last 24 years, actually. For distraction-free and imaginative leisure time, the Jornada 720 is one of the Windows CE devices with the broadest software library. You can run the mandatory Dumo Quake clone that I actually don't have installed, but I've heard they are actually unplayable on this screen, but you can try. There are puzzles like the excellent X-Word crossword puzzle, emulators such as Gnu Boy, the classic Solitaire, and even an oddball flight simulator. Here looking at the Leo's flight simulator. If the awful media player is not your cup of tea, Winamp was released for Windows C and works perfectly fine. If you're looking for a great way to keep yourself organized, have some fun and enjoy a useful and 100% private and secure portable legacy device, because it's offline, the Jornada 720 is being a joy to own, discover and use. I'm sure I'm keeping mine for many years to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.